Canadian Health News tonight, the latest treatment for a common and often chronic eye condition. We're talking about dry eye syndrome. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa in our New Haven newsroom with what's being described as a spa for the eyes. Jocelyn. Sonia and Darren, as we grow older, we are more at risk for developing symptoms of dry eyes, but it can happen at any age. If blocked glands are causing the dryness and irritation, you could be candidate for the latest therapy known as LipiFlow. Kathy Yancey is getting numbing drops. She's just minutes away from undergoing the latest procedure for her dry eye condition. A little bit of watering, burning, stinging, um, itching. Nothing worked prior to this treatment. I do warm compresses. I'll put drops in, but it's momentary. Ophthalmologist Dr. Mark Milner specializes in treating dry eyes. The purpose of this device is to safely heat up the lids liquefy those oils so that the, you can express the glands. He is the first in the state to offer LipiFlow. Specifically, it targets abnormal oil glands. Temperature comes up to a very safe 108 degrees. What happens is because the oily layer is not normal, they may be making tears, but the tears are inflamed from those abnormal oils. And because the oily layer is not normal, the tears are evaporating very quickly. It takes 12 minutes. It's like a mini massage. To treat both of Kathy's eyes. What you're doing is you're heating up those oil glands so that now you're liquefying those thickened abnormal oils. The ones blocked glands are now unclogged and patients like Fred Montoya. I saw changes immediately. Are no longer dealing with dryness and discomfort. You know, I feel pretty good, right? Yes. He had it done two and a half months ago. They got rid of the irritation basically, which was the most annoying part because that was perpetual, constant and it created the, the uh, flow of tears. Meantime, Kathy Yancey looks forward to improving her quality of life. To be able to keep my eyes open while I'm awake, that would be nice. Dr. Milner says the procedure may not be permanent, so patients may have to be retreated. Right now, Lippy Flow is not covered by insurance. For more information, log on to WTNH.com. Back to you.